All right, let's create a market depth imbalance gauge in Excel with Sierra chart data. So first thing to look at, I have ES open and the trade 29 Sierra chart Excel custom study applied with the key set to XX, right? This is not relevant for this. So just the key is important set to XS in this example. Then I go to Excel where I'm going to first pull the market depth data. So equals Sierra chart market depth and then give it the key that we're using so it knows where to look for it. We'll do 10 levels and click OK. What did I do wrong? Oh, like that. Yeah, OK. So now we have Sierra chart market depth XX 10 levels showing us ES data getting updated. Next thing I'm going to do is we want to summarize these, right? So this is the volume on the first 10 levels on the bid side, sorry, on the ask, and this is the first 10 levels on the bid, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to summarize these. So equals sum, and then let's grab these 10 levels and click OK, right? So we get this number that's going to update in real time. Let's do the same thing for the bid. Sum, what is that? E. 14 to E23, but it's not E, it's more like, ugh, it's more like F, right? There we go, right? So now we have 537 is the total on the bid and the ask is higher. We can see that the ask is currently more volume now. In order to make a visual gauge out of this, it's pretty simple in Excel. I'm just going to insert a, a graph. In this case, I'll just use this one. There's like many options with Excel to visualize this data, but this is one simple way to do it. And yours might look a little different here. Mine defaults to this after. <coughs> um, <coughs> Sorry, so mine defaults to this. I'm going to right click and click the data that I want. All right, so in this case, we want this value and this value, right? We want the total bid and the total ask. So what I do, I select this, and this appears. And then I want to also select this. So I control and select that as well. So it brings that on and click OK. And then Excel that will then plot this chart for me and obviously I can customize it change the title and play around with it one thing I can do is change the type and then I can see also the values up here or whatnot yeah all right